So I'm here with uh, Lisa Rosenthal. Rosendahl. Yes. I'm sorry. Yep, okay. <laughs> At the Minnesota Blogger Conference. You're a Minnesota blogger. I am. And uh, so tell me about your blog or blogs if you've got multiple ones. Well, I actually have three blogs. Um, the first blog is Simply Lisa, and I've been blogging there for just over four years now, and that's a blog on HR leadership and growth. Okay. Um, my second blog is with my daughter. She's nine years old, um, and that's Raising Tara. Okay. And we each have our own sidebar. So I write about my stuff, she writes about nice, her stuff. Nice. Um, and then the third blog is a blog that I co founded with three other women. It's called womenofhr.com. Okay. And that is a blog that I'm the editor of, and we talk about issues um, of that women face in the workplace. Okay. We have a couple of male bloggers and it's been it's been a lot of fun. So that is where my first two blogs are like my own writing. Um, this is a, a multi-contributor blog. Okay. So we okay. have about 20, 25 people that contribute men and women. All right, so, so what, are, what are the addresses of the blogs? Um, Simply Lisa is simplylisa.com. Okay. Raising Tara is raisingtara.com. Okay. And Women of HR is womenofhr.com. Yeah, easy enough. Nice and easy. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I gave you the wrong address. Uh -oh. Simply Lisa is lisarosendahl.com. Okay. So okay. I don't know my own addresses. Okay. There we go. <laughs> that's actually See, common. You're making me that's, nervous. Yeah, that's actually common. I get that a lot. Okay. We, yeah. we know our own, we don't call ourselves all the time, right? No. So we don't. Our phone mm -hmm. um, so you've been blogging how long? Um, just over four years. Okay. And uh, why did you why did you start blogging? Which blog did you start did you start blogging with, or on, or okay. whatever? Which yep. one did you start with, and then why did you start blogging? Um, I started with Simply Lisa. Okay. And when I first started, it was called HR Thoughts. Okay. And it's all um, my roommate from college. It's her fault that I started blogging. So she was a high school principal in upstate New York, and she had a blog of her own. Okay. And I would read it, and I would comment on it. Eventually, she told me just to get off of her blog and start my own. <laughs> so I did. There was one weekend when my husband and daughter left for the weekend. They went to visit some in-laws, and I figured I'm going to get this blog thing going. So I um, signed up for a blog account, and I just started writing. Okay. So it was, um, it's been a progression. At first, it was completely anonymous. My name wasn't on there. My location wasn't on there. The first time I posted, the, posted a, a post, I hit send and I just waited for something to happen. I don't know what I thought was going to happen, but um, the world didn't fall down. Nobody uh -huh. came storming down my door. So over the years, I've progressed and I've gotten more comfortable with it. Now my picture's on there, my name's on there. Sure, sure. Um, so it's it's um, it's been fun. It started out as a place just to, just to process thoughts. Um, now it's a conversation, and I have friends, and I have community, and it's a place to. Um, share ideas. I learned so much. Um, I wouldn't be here if I didn't blog. Yeah. You know, so. so what is the biggest thing you've learned from blogging? I mean, it's all about relationships. It is. It's, um, I'm basically an introverted heart. So um, at first it was a really safe way for me to, to hide behind something and to get what I have to say out there. But that only takes you so far. Um, stepping out from, from in front of that, stepping out from behind that and meeting people. Um, I've, like I said, I've met so many people. And it's really about getting out there and looking them in the eye, shaking their hands, talking to them and sharing ideas. Right, yeah. um, I gave a presentation a couple weeks ago about, about blogging and somebody asked me, you know, where, where do you find the time? And you know, without even thinking about it, I don't. I just make the time, and I don't know that I could not blog anymore. It's that important to me. So, uh, with your HR blogs, yes. Um, what's the specific focus of them, or do they have a specific focus? Is it just HR in general, or is it a? You know, it's HR leadership and growth. So I talk about day-to-day -day HR because I'm an HR director right now. So I talk a little bit about some of the things that happen in on my day-to-day. -day. But it's not so much the ins and outs of what happened, but it's what I learned from it. So okay. I take the day-to-day -day activities, bring it up 100,000 feet, and, and talk about what I learned. Um, how, and hopefully that would be something that other people can learn from. Sure, sure. What's, uh, how, are blogger, how are blogs or bloggers um, changing or affecting or influencing uh, the workplace? The uh, hiring, all that HR type of stuff. You know, there is, um, there's not a lot of people on social media, but there's a nice core group of people that are, our mission, our goal is to, is to get the word out. And the people that are involved in companies are very progressive. Um, they're, they're bringing their recruitment online. They're, they're using it to attract candidates. Um, there are companies that have HR blogs to attract and retain people. So, okay. Yeah. Um, What's been the biggest surprise for you for, from blogging? The biggest surprise for me personally is how much I enjoy writing. That's, that's been it. I never thought that I would consider myself a writer, but I really, I, I enjoy it. So, so as, a, as a 
seasoned blogger. Seasoned uh, day. For years. No, I guess so. Not compared to a lot of people in this room, but yes. As a seasoned blogger, mm -hmm. uh, what types of tips would you give to somebody who is thinking about um, starting a blog mm -hmm. or who uh, is new to it? Well, you know, blogging has been really great for me, and I guess I wouldn't say it's, it's for everybody, but I think I would have them step back and think about why they want to blog and what they want to blog about or what their, what their goals are. And blogging might be one of the ways to get there, and it may or may not be. Um, but that once they want to do that, just um, give me a call or give um, somebody a call because there are tons of resources, there are tons of um, experiences out there. You know, we've done it and we've made mistakes and we've corrected them and we've learned from it. That to really reach out and to talk to people that are doing it because I found it to be a very um, open, welcoming, supportive community. Yeah. So what are what do you think are the uh, elements of a successful blog? Um, technical piece, te technically wise, I think it needs to look nice. You know, that's one thing. People, I go for what it looks like at first, but then you move move beyond that. And I think it's the quality of writing. I think it's the relevancy of what people write. Um, I have probably over 150 blogs in my reader, and they and they and they change over time. The ones that I'm drawn to, to towards are the ones that um, have topics that relate to me that I can feel like when I read it, I know the person behind it. I'm not drawn to um, really slick ones with all the flashy ads, and then it feels like I'm just being pitched to. I mean, I, I, for me personally, I want to know the person behind it. I want to feel like that there's a there's a connection there. So I think for me, that would be the successful ones. Okay. So um, Again, what's your, uh, the name, the, how, pe how can people find your blog? Okay. Well, probably the best way is just do lisarosendahl.com. Okay. And if you go to my about page, then there's links to all the other ones there. There's my Twitter link and my LinkedIn okay. link there also. And on Twitter, you're? Lisa Rosendahl. All right. <laughs> Thank you, you very much for taking right. the time to talk. Thank you. It's been fun.